Hello, so today we're looking at Advanced Enchantments. It's the best enchantments plugin available now by far, used by the most players and servers, as well as the most downloaded one on Spigot MC. It allows you to create custom enchants through the Advanced Enchantments website. Uh, you can also load those enchants onto your server from the website using the command in game. So we have a video on that which will be linked in the description where you can learn how to create custom enchants from our website. So right now, we're just going to be looking over a couple of features and demonstrating how enchantments work. So the first feature, the main feature, basically, of what we're going to be looking at is the enchanter. So, it's a menu where players can buy custom enchants using their XP. Uh, also, it doesn't have to be XP, you can change the configuration to be experience levels, in money, or even items, like for example, like 20 emeralds or diamonds to buy. Uh, let's say a unique enchantment. Yeah, this menu is also fully configurable and you can change it how it looks, what it does, what it sells. It also has optional commands which you can use here to click to open different menus. You can configure any of this and you can even sell any items that you want. It doesn't have to be related to this plugin. But. So let's uh, try it out by buying uh, simple enchantment so this is a confirmation menu you get the simple enchantment book you right click it to open and basically we got force field 3 so this is a sword enchantment uh, which has a chance to push your opponents so enchantments are applied by just uh, clicking on an item so it has a success rate the destroy rate you can also fully configure this in the configuration to disable them so the next thing we're looking at is the tinker so this is basically just a menu where you can trade uh, items that you don't want anymore uh, for XP. So we're gonna be showcasing this right after the next feature. So the main feature of this plugin is the enchantment table. So what's unique about this plugin? This is the best custom enchantments integration within the enchantment table. Players can get custom enchants from the enchantment table just like vanilla enchants by enchanting items. So, uh, let's just try it out. So we have a few items, uh, examples that we can use. So let's just uh, try with one pickaxe, one sword, and you need lapis, of course. So you just uh, put the item there, put the lapis, and uh, just like vanilla enchants, you click on any of the want and you will get custom enchants. So I have to also note that in these examples, the chances for custom enchants are greatly increased uh, just so we can see how it works so we got the vein miner too let's try with the sword let's see what we get vein miner is basically an enchantment that mines uh, ores in veins so for the sword we get nothing then that, that that's pretty normal like it's just like vanilla enchants it doesn't have to be every time so here we go famine too and ravenous too so let's try out the tinker so you just put the items that you don't want you click accept and you will get experience bottles that you can claim back the experience uh, if you put their custom enchants you can get uh, a success uh, dust which you can use on bugs to increase success when applying so we're gonna be looking at uh, one of the enchantments so we just have a small example of how it works. So here's a diamond pickaxe with telepathy 4 and uh, trench 7. So basically telepathy, it teleports mined ores from where they would drop into player's inventory and trench just mines in vein, in big veins, like 3x3 three three areas. So uh, it also automatically detects this plugin which blocks can be mined, so these ones won't be affected. Here, as you can see, it mined this, the area, and because it has telepathy, the stuff just teleports into your inventory. Also, the durability, it counts for every block broken, so it, the pickaxe doesn't last as long as it would normally. So here you can see, just very nice features. And uh, we can also test the vein miner pickaxe that we got. And you can see how it works. So the enchantments are not only focused on the blocks, but also on uh, on player enchantments, mob enchantments. You have enchants that damage 
mobs or players more, give uh, potion effects, for example, one that gives you permanent night vision, or uh, you can breathe underwater, or even enchants which use seeds from your inventory to replant uh, other blocks. So here you can see, because it, it's a uh, vein miner too, it has a low chance, so it won't always activate, but you can see it activated there. And we got uh, call or so yeah, that's pretty much it this was a quick tutorial and we're gonna be linking the plugin in the description below which uh, you can check out there's also a wiki a huge wiki honestly which you should check out if you plan on getting download if you plan on using this uh, plugin we also have a huge discord server with over 5,000 people which you can join and uh, ask around there so yeah, that's about it please check out other videos and uh, have a nice day